At this point, we're going to go over how to troubleshoot one of our BAD 5.56 rifles or also the BAD PDW. The steps are going to be the same between both of them. So for this one, we're going to use our tanker, uh, which is also using our BAD CSS vert stock. It's the bolt-on. So in troubleshooting and tuning, uh, one thing is important to remember, all of our rifles, we tune at the factory. They do not have an adjustable gas block or an adjustable gas, gas key of any kind on the bolt carrier group. Uh, there is no gas adjustment necessary. The ports are sized accordingly for uh, specifically factory loaded 223, 556, or factory loaded 300 blackout um, super and subsonic ammunition. If you're running a 300 blackout in subsonic, it's important to note that subsonic really is specifically designed to be run with a suppressor for full cycling and functionality. So if you're having issues with cycling running 300 blackout and you're running it unsuppressed, um, you probably want to run that with a suppressor. That'll solve pretty much most of your cycling issues in that regard. Uh, but other than that, uh, you shouldn't have to worry about making any adjustments to any of the gas system or the bolt carrier or buffer weight. All of those points are fixed in these rifles. So where you may run into things like a, you know, such as a malfunction, uh, you might get a double feed. Uh, we're going to step through what you do to clear those and get back into the fight. So right now, I've got a 20-round 20, 20 magazine loaded with just some dummy snap caps. I just want to make sure that we're not using any live ammunition. And as always, practicing safe firearm, uh, safe firearm handling. So I've got this pointed in a safe direction. So let's say right now we're going to close the bolt. So I've got this at the ready. I come up and I close the bolt. Now, let's say it stops and I don't know why it stopped just like that so let's say we've got something where it failed to feed or it failed to go all the way forward what you'd want to do always first if it's on fire switch it to safe get your finger off the trigger you don't want to have an accidental discharge there is the possibility that this bolt may come forward and your finger might still be on the trigger you can have an accidental discharge and you don't want that to happen. So first, we're always gonna switch this to safe and get our finger off of the trigger. The next thing, drop the magazine. And the reason why you wanna get the magazine out of there is because a lot of times with certain jams, especially like this, you may not get the cartridge out and uh, simply pulling the charging handle back, it's gonna pick up another round and then you're gonna induce a double feed and now you have to get two rounds out of there instead of just one. So we drop the magazine now we just have one thing to worry about. So we're gonna pull that to the rear as quickly as possible and get it out of there. Cycle it a couple of times, insert a fresh magazine, pull it all the way to the rear and you should be ready to fire again. Make sure that the bolt is always closed. It's pretty simple. That's really the main concern that you're gonna run into uh, really with any rifle is something that's either a double feed or uh, not uh, fully going into battery. Um, let's say if you're in full automatic fire and you're continuing to hold the trigger down but it goes click and it doesn't actually bang. There might be some timing issues. You might have some fouling buildup in there um, but usually these things are designed to run and they will run without lubrication and they can get pretty dirty before they start to fail. So when you do start to run into uh, certain cycling, cycling failures, um, be aware of you know, how many rounds have been put through it. Uh, sometimes you might need to, again, go through those field strip steps. Um, one of the, let's go ahead and drop the mag here. Uh, we'll clear out that round. So let's say you are in the field. It does start to get sluggish. See so what you do, just like a regular takedown. Pop out the rear takedown pin, we'll shotgun it open. Just pull your carrier out. You should always have just like a little bit of oil or some, you know, some sort of a uh, cleaning rag or something that you can just wipe this down with. You don't have to fully take this down like I showed before, like pulling out the, uh, pulling out the firing pin, retaining pin and the cam pin. You can usually just squirt a little bit of oil in where the cam pin area is and in these two vent holes, give it a couple of shakes 
um, throw some back in the upper. You'll put it back together. Oh, come on, snap it closed. Charge it and be ready to go again. And those are really the basic troubleshooting steps uh, if you do run into uh, occasional you know, malfunctions and problems. It's gonna happen with any machine. Uh, malfunctions can happen. So be aware, these are the steps that you wanna take in order to clear a jam. Um, all, again, like I said, make sure that it's always pointed in a safe direction. So first thing, if it is a malfunction, go from safe, switch it to fire, get your finger off the trigger, drop the magazine, pull the charging handle to the rear, give it a shake to get any cartridges or any brass spent casings that may be stuck in there, the thing that was causing the malfunction, out, reinsert, the mag reinsert a new magazine, charge the weapon, and continue to fire. If something worse were to happen, let's say you had a load that was underloaded and you, know, you, uh, you didn't know it, there is the potential that you've got what's known as a squib or something where the projectile did not make it out of the barrel and it has jammed the barrel. So it's always important to make sure that if you do have something where it goes click but it does not fire, you want to make sure that when you clear that chamber, so when you clear the chamber, it's hard to show on these because they're dummy rounds, but always make sure that when you clear the chamber, if it goes click but not bang, that the bullet is still in the case. Because if the bullet is not in the case when you clear that chamber, it means it's probably stuck in the barrel. And if it's stuck in the barrel, this needs to be taken in for service because you're not gonna be able to get a stuck bullet out of the barrel out in the field. Other than that, based on those just really simple tips, um, basic troubleshooting. Like I said, you don't need to tune it or worry about gas. All those things are already preset and pre-adjusted here at the factory. So as long as you're using good quality ammunition, and staying on top of your maintenance, you shouldn't have to worry about those things. Uh, the only occasional slip up might be uh, depending on the magazine you're using. And again, ammunition, but like I said, good quality magazines, good quality ammunition, uh, keeping up on the maintenance. These things will continue to run and serve you in all of your needs. And we hope that this has been informative and we'll catch you next time. This is Jay Fithdell with Battle Arms.